Good afternoon. This is another Friday that the Lord has allowed us to just to try to encourage one another. Uh, we go through trials and tribulations and God, Jesus told us that if, when we accept him that we were going to have trials and tribulations uh, because he suffered and died on the cross for us that we might have a right to the tree of life to be reconciled back to our Father. So we will have our good days and we will have those bad days, but like the song say, those good days outweigh the bad days. So we thank God for all he's done and all that he's going to do. And I'm going to read a, um, today a portion of the 16th Psalm, verse 8. And one that we know, um, Jeremiah, the 29th verse, 29th chapter, 11th verse. Uh, and I thank my dear friend, uh, Miss Geraldine Scott, for giving me this. It's, it's a book called Press to Share. Pass along notes. And it's called Breathe and Release. So God wants us to breathe and release. Uh, don't, you know, inhale and exhale and don't try to carry everything on your shoulder and, and believe that you're the only one going through and uh, you can't carry this burden. And that's what Jesus wants you to know that. He said, cast all your cares upon me because I care for you. And this verse, it says, I'm praying God's peace will fill you as you leave your words in his hand. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your kindness, your healing power, your deliverance power, your loving power, your peace. Oh, Lord God, your everything that we stand in the need of, God, we just thank you, God, that we can have a merry heart, oh God, that we can praise you through our circumstances, God, because they come to, not to harm or hurt us, but they come to strengthen us, oh God, and let us stretch it on you, God. We, we want to smile again. We want to have peace again, God. We want to know that uh, our lives are in your hand, God. So we we give you praise, we give you glory, and we give you honor, God. And when we enter into this house, God, uh, allow us to to let go and let God and, and just praise him through, God. And you would just touch our hearts, oh God, and touch our minds, God, and that you would deliver us on. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. And our soul says, Amen. This is Psalm 16, verse 8. It said, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. And you know, sometimes that's that's, that's a hard thing to do sometimes because we want, sometimes we want to have a, a little pity party and we want to, to take our eyes off of God and, and put our eyes on this circumstance because we think a little bit of worry and a little bit of pacing the floor, a little bit of this and a little bit of that is going to change things. But God says it's not going to change things. Uh, because we are worried about it. It, it only makes us um, feel down and out. It only makes us even feel worse than what we when we went into the situation. But God said, just just keep your eyes on me. And I'll, I'll make everything all right. I, I know you're looking at the circumstances. I know you're hurting. I know that uh, this is going on and that is going on. But he said, he said, keep your eyes on me. And with his right hand, he will lead and guide us. And he said, I would not, you would not be shaken. You would not be cast down because I I know what you, you're going through. I already wrote the book and I know what you're going 
I know this thing is coming. Uh, but you can't prepare yourself every day for, for life's journey because you can write a whole list of, of what your day is going to be starting at when you get up in the morning. But God said, man's plan, but he can change it. And that's how, how life is. God changes our plans to coincide with what he has for us. A lot of times we make plans and it's not God's will, but when God changes them, we get upset until we realize that God knows more about me than I know about myself. So today is just, we got to stop worrying about so much. And uh, we have gotten older and we got gray hairs and uh, we have uh, different elements in our body and some of us don't, but you know, when we get older, we, uh, our body has a tendency to have them brothers, the arthritis, bursitis, and all those, <clears throat> all those things, but we thank God no matter what our bodies go through, that we can take it to the Lord and the Lord would deliver us on time. So I, I thank God for his mercy and for his kindness. And it says, let go of whatever you don't have control of. So let it go. Let it go. You can't, you can't fix it. If, if, if it um, this pew would break down and, and you see it needed a screw, where you could put a, put a screw in it and, and you could fix it right away. But if it just shadows itself, uh, all of a sudden it just crumbles. You can't fix that. So God said, this is how life is. Sometimes you can put a screw in it, you can put a band-aid on it, uh, but you can't fix everything. And he said, I don't want your heart to be at that point where you worry about, I can't control this, I can't fix this. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go and sit in the corner and I'm going to just worry morning, noon, and night and just, just give up on life. God said, no. He said, give it to me. He said, I'm, uh, my shoulders are big enough to handle it. So let go and let God. He said, not just lay it down, but actually leave it in his hands. Let him guide you and protect your peace of mind. So that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to have peace of mind today. I know it, we go through things that hurts. It, it, it hurts to a point where sometimes you don't even want to get up out of bed because when you get up out of bed and you open your eyes, you got to think about it. But God said, lean not to your own understanding, but acknowledge me in all your ways and I will direct your path. Because he said, I want to give you peace that passes all man's understanding. But the more we keep our mind on the circumstances, only thing we can see is, is trouble. But God said, just, just go in and eat you some breakfast and drink you some water. And most of all, look to the hills from which cometh your help. And know that all your help comes from me. Because I made you and I know all about you. So keep your eyes on me. Look to me, and I will give you strength. Know that the Lord is, is, is my shepherd, and I shall not want. Let you know that he said he would lead God and, and direct our path. And he said, when you're thirsty, you can come to me, and I, I, I fill you up when you're in that dry and, and thirsty land. He said, I will. I will give you that, that soothing, cool word that will, will, will come into your heart and just give you peace. But he said, come unto me who are laden and heavy laden, I will give you rest. He said, I haven't forgotten about you. He said, I, I know what you're going through. I know that you cried all last night. But he said, we can make and do it for a night. But he said, joy will come in the morning. That morning might be 11.59. It might be 6.09. But that joy will come. He said, if you let go and let God. Thank you, Father, for all you do and all that 
that you going to do. He said, glorify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. So it's telling us today that no matter what our circumstance is, we got to we got to let go and let God. We got to praise God. We got to learn how to inhale and exhale because if we don't, life is going to have us with our head hung down and uh, being uh, angry and upset about this and about that, never smiling, never, never giving God the praise, just, just wanting to have my way. But God said, I'll make a way out of no way. He said, that's who I am. If you stand on my word. Because he said, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. And so he said, the weapons of, of, of fear, the weapon, weapons of anger, they're going to form. He said, they're going to form because the enemy don't want you to have no peace. But he said, even though they form, he said, even though they form, he said, no weapon form against you shall prosper because you, you are a child of God. When you woke up, you put on that, that robe of righteousness. You put on that, that shield of faith. You dress up in the sword of the spirit. So when the enemy comes, he has to back up because he sees you, you are dressed up for battle. And the word says the battle is not yours, but it's the Lord. So God wants us to have peace, the inner peace. And then Jeremiah 29, chapter 11, verse, it says, For I know the plans I have for you. I knew your plan before you broke down. I, I, I know what I had planned for you this, this day, but you wrote your own plans. And, and now some of your plans have uh, been changed and you want to get all bent out of shape but but don't allow the enemy to tell to steal your joy because the joy of the Lord is our strength he said I have for you declares the Lord plans for welfare plans for good and not for evil he didn't he knew that we were going to go through some evil days, some good days. But he said, those plans, I already, already got them wrote down in heaven. I, I already know what you're going to go through. But he said, I'm going to give you an expected end. I'm going to give you peace in the end of, of your trials and your tribulation. Because you are my child and I know all about you. And he said, I want you to inhale and exhale. I want you to breathe through it. I want you to, to, to release it, to release it to me. Give it to me. Because he said, I didn't come to destroy you, but I came to, to strengthen you. I came to, to give you joy, to give, to bless you. But I also want you to know that uh, the enemy came to steal, kill, and destroy, but I I came, I sent my son to, to bring you back to me because I don't want you out there lost, wandering in the wilderness. I want you uh, to lie in that green pasture. I want you to be with me. I want you to praise me. I want you to give my name the glory, the honor, and the praise, even when you look at the circumstance and the circumstances breaks your heart when the circumstances of life hurts you, when, when the circumstances of life, it gets you down. But he said, if you just put your trust in me, if you allow me to work it out, if you just allow me, then I'll give you a future that passes all man's understanding. I will bless you. And I will cause my face to shine upon you. I won't, I haven't forgotten you. But I want you to know that I will bless you through it all. Because I love you. And I just want you to have peace. Peace in me. Peace that you came by. Peace that money came from. Peace that the 
doctors can give, but not peace that I give unto you. To love on me, to drink from the fountain of, of peace, to know that I love you and I have the best in store for you. So that's the word for today that God wants us to have peace that passes all man's understanding. Because he knows our he knows our beginning and he knows our end. And he knows when we walk in that path that, that hurts us. He, he already knows, but he said, You're not walking in that path alone. You, I'm with you. And I will never leave you nor forsake you. So he said, just give me a chance to work it out. Just give me a chance to allow you to inhale and exhale and, and know that through it all, you can trust in me. So, Father, we thank you for not peace for man, but the peace, the peace of God to give us understanding, God. Peace that restores us, oh God, and the peace that wakes us up in the morning, God. Peace that allows us to cry out, hallelujah. The peace, oh God, that allows us to weep sometimes, God, when we're hurting, God. And sometimes we're not even hurting, God, but the peace of your word, God. So, God, we thank you for peace, God. We thank you in the name of Jesus, oh God, that your son, your, our elder brother, laid down his life. For us, he died on the cross, oh God. Lord, I thank you. He was, he was willing to be beaten for us, oh God. As the blood came streaming down, oh God. But Lord, we thank you, God. He didn't say a mumbling word because he knew that we needed. We needed to know that he suffered and bled and died on the cross. God, that we may have that peace, oh God. So God, we thank you. We thank you, God. We give you, we give you praise, we give you glory, and we give you honor, Lord. We, we ask for forgiveness of anything we said or did, God, that wasn't pleasing in your sight, God. We thank you for being a healer, Lord God, all over the land and country, God. We, we thank you, God, for our family and our friends, those who are far and those who are near, God. We pray for the young people, oh God. We thank you, God, that these weapons that these young folks are getting in their hands, God, we, we thank you for. I know the police are trying to clean it up, God. Holy Spirit, just, I just thank you for your mercy and for your kindness, God. We thank you, Lord God, that we learn to talk to our young folks, God, young people, our babies, oh God. Let them know that, that we love them and God loves them even more, God. Lord, we thank you for Pastor Gavin, the leader of this house of Zion, oh God. The angel that you put here to lead this flock, oh God. Lord, we thank you for our leading lady in her absence, oh God. We ask you to bless the church family of God, as we celebrate our homecoming on Sunday, Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory, because the, the message is there is no place like home, God. We thank you and we praise you, Lord, that you will bless us as we travel back home or wherever we're going this afternoon, God. Be with us, keep us and bless us, oh God. And let us receive the peace of God that passes all man's understanding. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. And our souls say,